Hello and welcome to the December video blog. We're going to switch things up a little bit this month and come into the factory and go over some tips and tricks with our Retroline heating cable. A question we often get asked is, the heating cable is coming out of the branch. Would I have been able to have the heating cable coming out of the end of the T? And the answer is yes. You can order the heating cable directly from Heatline in a way we refer to as 90 degree to water. And in that method, instead of the water passing straight through the T connection, the water would then pass 90 degrees through the T connection. But let's say you have it on site and you want to make the change there. And you don't want to have to send it back to Heatline for us to do the correction. On shorter lengths, the change is very simple. All you have to do is disconnect where the heating cable enters into the T. Pop out the entry seat where the compression grommet sits into in the T. And then you have to feed the T off of the entire length of the heating cable. And this is where I said for shorter units, it's much simpler. Obviously not as much length to feed the T off of. As units get longer, this can become a little more complicated and complex. So in those cases, for a long unit, I sometimes do suggest that customers just return them to us for the option of us doing it here. Once the heating cable is removed off of the T, you can then proceed to change your inserts. For instance, this is a one inch pipe. You have your compression nut, compression cone, call it insert. Insert adapter does have a gasket on it as well. Make sure to get the gasket off. Put it in the branch side with the entry insert first, the collet, the compression cone, and the compression nut. And now we have the T set up to adapt to the pipe with the water moving on a 90 degree fashion. To then interface the heating cable again, we now do a very similar procedure as we did at the start, but in reverse. You run the T back along the entire length of the cable. Bringing the entry seat back into place, we then have the entry seat around the heating cable coming into that. And at this point, this is where you do want to make sure that if you need some lubrication here so we do not create a twisting action, that we go ahead and add that on the top tapered edge of the entry seat. Then we bring the compression cone into place, which is what we want to be able to loosely slide around that entry seat grommet. Then we bring the compression nut down into place and tighten the entire system down. And when we're compressing it down, this is where we want to watch to make sure that our entry seat is not turning as we're tightening, which would result in twisting the heating cable inside the pipe. And you just need to tighten that down till it's flush and you're ready to go. We now have our Retroline heating cable set up in a 90 degree to water fashion with the water passing through on 90 degrees. I hope you found this video vlog helpful. We will continue to release a new video vlog every month. Please sign up to our email newsletter, Facebook page, or other social media links to stay up to date. Thank you for watching.